Today, I'm joined with Dr. Matt Spangler from University of Nebraska-Lincoln. He's extension beef cattle geneticist there. And he spoke to, at our SDSU Extension Seed Stock Symposium and built on some of the discussion we've had on DNA technology and took it the next step and really talked about DNA testing and what's going on in the beef cattle industry with DNA testing. So Matt, if you want to um, expand about why, why do we do DNA testing and what's, what's happening with that in the industry right now? Well, I think there's a lot of, of simple uses of DNA technology if we think about testing for simple traits. So coat color, horn, pulled status, and then also uh, recessive genetic defects, which have certainly helped identify those cattle and, and allow us to, to know how to make breeding programs around them. There's also parentage testing, which has a tremendous amount of benefit, uh, not just in the seed stock industry and determining pedigree integrity, but also the commercial industry as well determining problematic sires uh, within, the, within the herds. And how, what are some of the benefits of, uh, in addition to these tests, and where do you kind of see us going? I know a lot of the breed associations, um, you're working with them with DNA testing. You want to expand a little bit more on, on the, the role of DNA testing with them and, and in the industry? Yeah, in, in addition to those simpler applications that I mentioned, we're actually using genomics now uh, to try to describe uh, a fraction of the genetic variation for complex traits, those controlled by many genes like growth and carcass merit, things of that nature. And we're actually using the results of those genomic tests for those kinds of traits uh, and including that into our EPD calculations for several breeds. Uh, the American Angus Association, uh, Simmental Association, Hereford Association, Red Angus Association are all doing that right now. Uh, with several other breeds very nearing uh, deployment of that technology in their national cattle evaluation. And one of the primary benefits of that is improving the accuracy of EPDs, particularly on young animals. Uh, and so I think it's extremely exciting to see that technology developed in that way and actually being utilized by several beef breed associations. Well, and definitely DNA and, and the, the terminology, the use of it, the growth of it has really changed the industry and moving forward and become a very big buzzword. But where do you see us going from here? What are some additional traits that you hope that we are going to be able to measure in, with DNA testing? I, I think there's several and several are actually the objective of very large funded USDA grants right now. One's focused on bovine respiratory disease and the other that I'm a part of is focused on uh, genomics of feed efficiency or feed intake. And those are traits right now that in large part we don't have uh, EPDs for, but through the aid of genomics we can develop selection tools for producers to use to actually improve those traits, which have extreme economic importance throughout the industry. So I think we'll be able to do that and continue to refine the way we utilize this information. There's also going to be huge evolution in terms of uh, the types of genomic information we get in terms of sequence information um, and identifying new genetic variants. So it's an evolving technology, but extremely exciting. Yeah, it sounds like there's a lot to come with DNA testing and, and the technology that comes with it, and we appreciate you explaining that to the producers that are in attendance at the program today and those who will be watching this online as well. So for more information about the Genetic Seed Stock Symposium and some of our speakers, uh, you can go to www.igro.org.